Hey, it's Jurassic Park 3. I'll be your host tonight as the Discovery Channel goes Jurassic. In Jurassic Park 3, I have my share of close calls with dinosaurs. Tonight, it's your chance. Stay tuned for an encore presentation of Discovery's Walking with Dinosaurs and see two dino docu-trailers, Sigis and Baddest and Pack Hunters, that prove that the line between Hollywood fiction and scientific fact is very thin. Our three-night dino extravaganza starts right now as the Discovery Channel goes Jurassic. Dolphins or whales, they were smarter than primates. This summer, Universal Pictures brings you closer to the wonder. is one brush too many. Now some experts think these killers hunted in packs. Just watch. In Jurassic Park 3, that field plays maverick paleontologist Alan Grant, who supports the theory that raptors hunted in packs. With a tremendous evolutionary advantage. Raptors were fierce, intelligent, and socially sophisticated. They were able to hunt in numbers and coordinate their efforts. This is one pet theory Dr. Grant wouldn't mind proving false. But at ancient kill sites, paleontologists are uncovering evidence that some meat-eating dinosaurs did indeed hunt in packs. In the Montana desert, Des Maxwell found 11 teeth from the raptor known as Deinonychus. If one animal's going to shed 11 teeth while it's eating, then after 5 or 6 meals, it's not no teeth left in its skull. So we know simply from the numbers of shed teeth at one site that we're dealing with more than one individual, more than one meat-eating dinosaur. And Deinonychus had bigger cuts that many experts believe also ganged up on prey. Utah Raptor dispatched its victims with claws 10 inches long, three times larger than the talons on Deinonychus. Every time it kicks you, it'll make a cut five to six foot long, 10 inches deep. It would probably make a cut about every two to three seconds. So in 30 seconds, you would have 10 slashes, five to six foot long, 10 inches deep. Even if you're an animal 50 to 60 foot long, it would have opened up your belly and your insides would have fallen out. Some experts discount theories about dinosaur pack hunting. But on Isla Zona, there's no room for doubt. pounds of force. They employed a puncture and pull strategy that allowed it to rip out 500 pound chunks of flesh. Now, back to Jurassic.
Giganotosaurus seems to come in as a much heavier animal than T-Rex and may have weighed by as much as 30%. Giganotosaurus may be the biggest meat-eater ever found, but even Coria admits it's not the baddest. And the most important reason is dental. The teeth are very sharp, but at the same time are very narrow. And uh, the use of this kind of teeth is for slicing flesh and muscles, not for breaking bones. According to Dr. Neil Larson, T-Rex attacked with a far more devastating set of choppers. Now these teeth are shaped round like the end of this pick. This gives Tyrannosaurus Rex the ability to not only just cut through meat, but also to be able to punch through bone. What's more, T-Rex had a brain twice as large, a body built for speed, and binocular vision with the largest eyes of any land predator in a face-off between it and Giganotosaurus. The smart money is on Rex. What was that? Look at our new film, Jurassic Park 3. The scenes you'll only see right here. 